This is the Halo Smart Sensor. This is the device that's helping put out the vape epidemic across the country. Uh, right now we're in over 700 school districts and over 1,000 schools across the U.S. The Halo device is a security device for privacy areas. There is finally a device that can help assist if you're in a hospital room, if you're in a hotel room, if you're in a bathroom. It sends different alerts based on need. So if someone's yelling, if a fight breaks out, if glass breaks or there's a gunshot, the Halo will alert the staff immediately, immediate response that something's going wrong. Okay, what we're gonna do right now is gonna demonstrate uh, the vape detector actually in action. See the sensor going off. It takes within five to 20 seconds to go off. It's registering, and this right now is setting emails and texts that are going out to everybody on the staff. And it's also doing is it's taking a timestamp with the camera that's right outside the bathroom. So we know exactly who that student was, and we can investigate it at a later time. We don't have to go in there immediately. So the different sensors that are on this, they include uh, vape detection, vape with THC. It's the only sensor that does detect THC. Um, so right now we have a lot of uh, legalized uh, marijuana in a lot of states and that's becoming a problem in, in a lot of those states uh, schools where kids are actually uh, smoking marijuana within the bathrooms and locker rooms during the school day. It has a vandal alarm so if kids try to take it out of the ceiling it will set off the alarm and do a notification. Now this could be an audible alarm or it could be a silent alarm that just sends an email or text to anyone that you want on your distribution list. What I want to do right now is I want to demonstrate an actual alert system using a smoke can. So you'll see right here, I let the smoke, this is your CO2 and your VOC line. So what it's doing is it's actually picking up the chemicals that are within this, within this unit and also the CO2 from the smoke. It's registering vape in blue because uh, some of the chemical compounds are in there but it's not turning red. So it's not sending out alerts because it knows that it's not vape. And that's one of the big issues with some of the other vape detectors that are on the market, is they send tons of false alarms, whether it's Axe Body Spray or Lysol, uh, can't distinguish between regular vape and those chemical compounds. It has 12 different sensors in here, and those 12 sensors work together to do about 150 readings. Why that's important with the different sensors is because it actually eliminates false alarms. Those 12 sensors work together to tell what's true vape and what's not. In addition to this, we also have about 35 different volatile organic compound readings. And what that is, is that's your harmful gases and chemicals that can be picked up by the device. It has aggression detection, and what that means is it has an audible sensor. That audible sensor will pick up uh, decibel levels that are triggered by the alarm, and what will happen is it will send immediate alerts. And what it does is it knows what's normal and what's not. So we can put the bell schedule into the device's computer system and know that that school bell is going to be going off on the hour. So when the bell goes off, the device knows that it's normal, it won't trigger alarms. However, after the bell, if a loud noise does happen, it will trigger that it's an anomaly and send alerts to the security staff. It does temperature, humidity, and light levels. So also for long-term investment for the school district, your facilities management team can also use this device to monitor all the different locations within the school district. So you can tell if there's water leaks, if there's a gas leak. You can tell if someone left lights on and monitor that remotely to cut down on energy costs.